Good afternoon, all of you. I'm Gayatri Ratnaika from uh, University of uh, Sri Jayawardenepur and Open University of Sri Lanka. Uh, today, I'm going to present the paper titled Presence of Hyperglycemia, Hyperinsulinemia, Hyperlectinemia, and Insulin Resistance among a population of young adult population. So, uh, as all of you know, the obesity has become a global health burden. And also, young adults are also in risk of these metabolic conditions. So, the adverse outcomes of obesity are hyperglycemia, increased uh, insulin levels, and insulin resistance. Apart from that, leptin resistance also emerged with obesity. So, the objective of my study was to determine the presence of um, these uh, adverse metabolic outcomes, including hyperglycemia, hyperinsulinemia, insulin resistance, and uh, hyperlectinemia among a population of obese young adults, and uh, how these parameters will be differ between two groups. To do that, I measured four biochemical parameters, fasting blood glucose, for that, I use glucose oxidase method and fasting insulin and fasting leptin levels. For that, I use ELISA method, that means enzyme-linked immunosorbent assay. And to calculate the insulin resistance, I use HOMA IRO, homeostatic model assessment insulin resistance equation. So as you can see in the screen, this table demonstrate the differences of B, uh, the bio measured biochemical parameters between BMI. So here you can see I use BMI less than 25 as uh, one group and less higher than 25 as one group before because according to Asian cutoffs, we can, some uh, authors have demonstrated that we can use BMI 25 as a cutoff for obesity in Sri Lankan population. So as you can see in both female and male groups, the fasting blood glucose, fasting insulin levels, insulin resistance, and leptin levels were significantly higher in BMI group over 25, that means obese category. And let me take your attention to the image that has given here. So you can see in blue color, the normal weight subjects, and in orange color, obese subjects and you can see the adverse metabolic outcomes including for example if we take a hyperlectinemia group in male population more high proportions of obese subjects are there and if we take normal leptin levels high proportions of normal weight subjects are there so if you follow up the image throughout the all the measured parameters you can see that more adverse metabolic outcomes are high among high among subjects who have adverse metabolic outcomes. So as a result, we can highlight these three points in both male and female groups, FBS, fasting insulin, home IR, and leptin levels are significantly higher. And Fasting blood glucose levels were within reference range in all groups, and if I HOMA IR and leptin levels were above the reference range in obese group. So, as conclusion, we can conclude that these measured parameters fasting blood glucose, fasting insulin, HOMA IR and leptin levels were significantly higher in obese group in both genders, and insulin resistance hyperlectinemia and hyperinsulinemia is present among obese groups of both genders. And also the importance of this indication is that we have to educate our young population that although the metabolic outcomes are not visible, you have to be aware and follow healthy lifestyle in young populations. Thank you very much.